All right, today we are going to do more upgrades to the garage gym. Well, it's just one main upgrade. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take out these speakers that I have attached to this Bluetooth receiver. And we're gonna add in some ceiling speakers. And I also bought some insulation to add a bit of buffer for the speakers. There's nothing wrong with those speakers that I'm using, but when I have people come and train in the afternoons, the sound carries into the house and it can get quite disturbing to my wife if she's doing uh, things inside. So let's set up and try to find the best position and placement for these things and let's get started. All right. two speakers, two eight inch speakers for the ceiling and they come in these little cutout pieces. So what we're gonna do is attach them to the ceiling and their placement and find the kind of the even space to put them. I went ahead and pulled out the little, the center for it so we can get them in position on the ceiling. All right, let's go. So I've got the templates installed on the ceiling and I've traced out the holes and where the speakers are gonna go. So now it's the fun, well not so fun, dirty part of setting up a drop cloth and I've got my drywall saw and I'm gonna cut out the holes. So let's get to cutting. <laughs> All right, first hole was easily cut. And for a bonus, it actually fit really tight. So I was kind of scared I wasn't gonna be able to pull it out. Especially since I popped that front grill off of it and I was afraid of dropping it. So let's move all this to the other side and do it. All right. All right, to explain this a little further, uh, with the templates, they're eight inch speakers, and I used the templates that came with the speakers to put them on the ceiling. Within the template, I used a drywall saw. I've seen other people use jigsaws or other things, but this seemed to be the easiest way to do it. You kind of, you just kind of pull it toward you and cut out everything in that hole. And I tested the, speaker size and it fit well so now i'm gonna clean up what i've done so far and then we'll work at pulling the actually i need to put here's what we're gonna do as i said before i got the insulation on this side i'm gonna stuff insulation down it that way it has a little sound buffer on that way and then i'm gonna pull the speaker wires through because they're attached to the speakers i'm gonna pull that out of that guard run it through here and pull the wires through and then put insulation in this way and i gotta do it on both sides it should be fairly quick fairly simple i mean the insulation is easy to cut and then we can mount the speakers in and test them out all right all right so i measured out the space from the hole to the rafter 
and it's about 36 inches. So I'm gonna cut two pieces of this insulation at 36 inches so I can push into the hole and get ready to pull the speaker wire through. So let's cut some insulation. So now we go in the attic and stuff this insulation in. I know, I know. So exciting. I've got my two 36 inch pieces up into the cage. All right, let me set you down. Low light alert. Hold that thought. I gotta take a life break. All right, so I now realize that the width of the rafters, I need to cut two 36 inch pieces for the other side. So let's cut those right now. All right, back in the attic. So now we're gonna wire these speakers up, look at getting them in the ceiling and then insulating the rest of them. They did make it easy for the ground on the positive. They just has a push button on the spring. Take the negative wire and then the positive. And that should be good. Don't drop it from home. this to connect to my phone and let's find playlist Got the ceiling speakers in. They're not as bassy and, well, they're just as loud, but they're not as bassy as the other speakers. There's no sub with them, but I think they'll be just fine. They, I mean, they're flush mounted. They're loud enough. It's a garage gym. Uh, also stuffed a bunch of insulation in there to help buffer the sound from going from the garage into the hallway where my wife's office is. So I quieted that down a bit, so. It should be better for us in the long run. I also built this quick little cabinet. I still have some sanding and painting to do with the drywall, but it houses the uh, Bluetooth receiver. And one of my friends that comes and trains, she has her little fridge that keeps her little scented towels and stuff. But that's gonna be it for this episode. Thanks for watching. Like, share, subscribe. I'll link all the items in the description. See you next time.